Forget about it! Ray, you're clearly one of the heartbeats of the coaching setup. How would you describe your coaching style? Um, enthusiastic, I think. I think that's. Uh, I've always thought it was a pleasure just to be out here, and so uh, enthusiasm is no problem for me. I enjoy doing what I'm doing. I think uh, I've had a long time doing it now, and you know, I think I've uh, served my apprenticeship, and I think I know my subject properly now, which is which is good. Um, but at the end of the day, we're here to uh, to help Roy. You know, Roy is the Roy is a head coach in the truest. Uh, terms, he actually does coach. He's not one that um, tracksuit manager that comes out, stands on the side. He enjoys coaching. He wants to coach, so we're here to assist him. Anything he doesn't want to do, I do. Um, anything he wants me to do, I do. So it's um, it's you know that's that's part of the team. You did want to stick a mic on you, but there's no need, is there? Not really. I've got the I've got a booming voice that uh, I've been told about many a times. Uh, I'm lucky that you know I'm not shy when I get out there. I I, I don't mind having a scream and shout up. So um, it's good. But you know I don't go over the top. I mean it's you know I let people know, but uh, in a you know organised method hopefully. How does the dynamic work between yourself, Roy, Gary, Dave Watson? Uh, how does it all fit together? Well, I mean, considering that none of us knew each other apart from Roy and I, um, remarkably close team. Dave I knew of, but didn't know him. Very competent goalkeeper. I know that um, Joe holds him in high regard, and if, if the players, you know, have, have got that feeling for you, then, you know, it's, that's half the battle. So, Gary, I, I never met Gary at all. Um, and he's coming, and I must admit, I didn't know what to expect. I've been unbelievably pleasantly surprised with him. I think he's a real bright lad. I think whatever he wants to do, he'll do. Um, he's got an opinion, he's got a strong opinion, and he tells you. I just think that whatever Gary turns his hand to, he'll, he'll do well. We've got two matches over this period, um, and we really need to plan for both matches, although one's before the other. Um, we need to think ahead and work backwards, really, from the second game to the first, just to have a plan of who we might play, who we might not play, um, formations, etc. And that's a, that's a team effort. We get together. Obviously, Roy has the final say, but we're all encouraged to, you know, say and contribute to what we think. Roy then has the, has the problem and the responsibility to decide which way he's going to go. Roy's got strong feelings anyway, so, um, you know, I've worked with Roy for a long time. I tend to know uh, how he's thinking, uh, which is which coincides with the way I think most of the time. So there's no problem there, and Gary gives his opinion, which again usually just falls into place. But there's obviously times when we may have a difference of opinion over certain players should be playing, maybe a system change. Uh, but it's a healthy um, conversation that we have. Discuss to today's session. What went into today's session specifically? Well, we did the uh, we did the back four and uh, the midfield as a unit, um, and meanwhile, Gary took the strikers down for some shooting practice, and then um, we brought the the thing together um, and uh, had a full scale game where we touched on a few set pieces. So that was today, basically, a little bit more organisation for something that's going to slightly change from the way we usually do things. You know, it's not, it's not a, a sexy thing to do, you know, They've, it's something that they know they have to do. Roy doesn't like throwaway sessions, he doesn't like just occup occupying players. When we go out and do something, it's with a purpose. Now, we can put a, a, a lighter feel on it. But um, the players know that when they, they come with us, they're, they're going to be working. There's no throwaway sessions. There's no um, do what you want things. They, you know, we, we like to control everything because we've got so little time. Don't let him cross! Don't let him cross! I, I don't know what, you, what I, I thought it might be like, but coming into the job, um, you know, you think there might be a few big egos and, you know, there might be a bit of rivalry between players at different clubs and there's nothing further from the truth. I mean, in terms of training, they're probably the best bunch I've ever been in, you know, I've had the privilege to work with and that's at any club I've been to and you, you don't expect that. You think you might have a few big egos striking around and it's not the case. They're a joy to work with, to be honest. And, uh, you know, I do think that, you know, they're good players because of that. 
So, yeah, it's, it's, they've been a joy to work with.